Hello and welcome back to Lesson 6 in our IFR training series by FS Academy. Today we will be learning how to do a VOR approach into Manchester, Echo Golf Charlie Charlie Runway 23 right. Let's begin. approach we start in flight on our way to intercepting the course 047 towards Manchester VOR MCT. The approach chart shows we're looking at the Manchester runway 23 right VOR approach. Manchester is frequency 113.55. If it isn't displayed already click PFD and set bearing 1 to nav 1 to show the VOR needle and DME distance. The procedure has us leave Manchester VOR on course 047 until 12.3 DME, then make a procedure turn to come around to intercept the course 227 okay. to the runway. To begin, intercept and follow the 047 course to Manchester VOR. Alright, so we're going to try to follow that 047 course towards the airport. Push this here, kind of get us uh, centered here on the arrow. All right, there we go. We're gonna make our turn to try to catch it. Now, we're getting a little, we're getting close, so the arrow's gonna kind of drift. So I'm not gonna worry about too much about that. All right, so our airport just to the right of us here. Do we reach Manchester VOR? Leave on the 047 course. All right, let's see here. According to the chart, I need to flip around and just go uh, just kind of straight away from the airport here. And we will... Oh, shoot. I uh, forgot to... Maintain 3,500 yeah, yeah, yeah. feet for well, the time. I forgot timing. to uh, set up my throttles as soon as I got in the sim. So we'll get that fixed real quick. And once I get that under control, we'll follow uh, 047. Okay, I think that that'll do it. Just kind of raise up my altitude a little bit here. Almost back at 3,500 feet. Like I just don't like about it. I wish they would hold the aircraft at the altitude and speed and everything and give you, uh, you know, time to to grab it and get everything ready. It's, I mean, as soon as you get into this, especially if it's flying, if you're <clears throat> not paying attention right away, it's just going to go straight down and it's a pain. Procedure turns are a defined way to reverse your direction, intercepting the reciprocal course. For example, you could track course 360, make a procedure turn, and then follow the course 180. They involve turning off your outbound course for one minute before turning around and re-intercepting your inbound course. This approach has a procedure turn where we leave our outbound of 047 to turn left to track 002 for one minute before turning right around to track 182 to intercept our approach yep, inbound of 227. The one minute time starts after completing your first turn. Keep on tracking the 047 course to 12.3 DME. Right. Got a little bit here till we get to 12.3, but uh, everything I think we're looking pretty good on our hub. Uh, Heading and altitude is okay. Got to try to get it trimmed out. And get rid of these things. The last 
I have to worry about in my way, the better. Especially with all the hand flying I'm doing. Try not to do any, um, even though this is uh, IFR training, I'm trying not to use the autopilot at all. As you can see on the chart, uh, there's a little mountainous area or a small hill, I guess you say. You can see right above, right uh, in front of us here. So when we get to that point, that's going to be close to 12.3 uh, DME. Then we can start our left turn to 002. Here comes 12.3 DME, so turn left to heading right, 002. Just like what the chart two. said, we'll hang a left uh, 002. until one minute okay. I'll let you know right. when to Take turn a quick look at the time should be about time you should be telling us here kind of wait yep, there he is there's one minute so turn one right heading off one eight degree. two okay here we go Try to keep the altitude steady. Going up a little bit here. Let's kind of get that fixed. Okay, looking good. Okay. Roll out and fly heading 182. Set and intercept a course of 227 using right. a course knob. Leveling off here. Now, trying to hold onto the yoke and then turn the course knob is extremely difficult. So I'm using the Bravo, the knob on the Bravo to change the course. It's, uh, it's so much easier. Continue tracking the course 227 at 3,500 feet until 10.3 right. DME. At 10.3, we'll begin a three degree okay. descent path. To find which vertical speed to set to maintain three degrees descent, use the five times ground speed rule. So if we're flying at 110 knots, descending at 550 feet per minute will maintain three degrees. We'll also use check altitudes during our descent. So at set distances to go, I'll read out the altitude that you should be at and okay, make great. corrections accordingly. All right, so we are about 110, so we should be doing about 550-ish uh, on the descent. Okay, we're coming up on our 10.3 DME for our descent. You should be telling us something here soon. Okay. Here comes 10.3 miles, so start descending at 10.3 at right, 3 I'll degrees. Cut the throttle back just a bit and try to trim out for 550 ish on the descent. Okay, I can see the airport and the runways up there. But I'm going to try to just kind of look at my instruments since this is IFR training to uh, just pretend maybe there were some issues outside and we were in the clouds or whatever. Passing 9 DME, we expect an altitude of 3,080 feet. If you're not there, make small corrections okay, accordingly. Pretty close, good. Trying to keep it steady at 550, it's a little difficult. 
tell you what, the autopilot's making things so much easier. But man, doing this by hand, it's, it's something else. All right, Chief, how are we doing on our altitude check? Got one? For, got another one for me? Seven miles, two thousand four hundred and forty right, feet. It's a little high, not much. center the needle again looks like we're offset a little bit of the runway I believe I read that on the chart that there was a I think a 5% offset All right, should we get close to another altitude check? Five miles, altitude 1,800 feet. This is a slightly offset approach, so we're on the inbound of 227 with the runway course of 232, giving an offset of five degrees. Golf Alpha Charlie, clear to land, runway 23 right, wind All right, 270. Clear to land, and we're looking. Okay, on our altitude, so I need to try to. I'm not exactly sure when uh, to slow down the, and especially in the Cessna, but we're going to start slowing down here shortly. I'm going to try to get down close to that uh, white bar so we can deploy flaps. So something I need to figure out what best practices for. All right, getting close to the white bar. Deploy first notch of flaps. Three miles, altitude 1,160. All right, that looks good. Instrument approaches have a minimum descent altitude, MDA. You cannot descend any lower than the MDA unless you can see the runway. The bottom of the VOR chart shows our MDA is 690 feet. If you're not visual before 690 feet altitude, you must perform a missed approach. All right, we're looking good so far. Um, looks like we got two whites and two reds. Trying to make little corrections to the yoke, but it seems <laughs> seems like I'm overdoing it a little bit. All right, looking good. About 78 knots right now. I'm gonna apply a second notch of flaps. Slow down a little bit more. We're reaching our MDA of 690 feet. We're visual with runway 23 right. You're clear to land clear to runway land. 23 right. Make a full stop landing All and right. come to a stop we'll on do. the runway. Just a little bit low, add a little more power. Okay, back on it. Want to stay on the path because I don't want to tr uh, trim some trees on the way in. Looks like the, the runway is clear. Don't see any other aircraft. Trying to aim right for that touchdown point. 
a little low again. Back on the throttle. Okay, idle. Try to get the trim or the stall horn to go, but nope. Oh, I think got a little bit of a bounce there. Ouch. That's all right. We we made it. This is probably about far enough. We can start to bring her to a stop. See what he has to say. That's this lesson on VOR approaches complete. Press escape. All right. Well, exit. thanks so much for uh, joining in on this one. We learned a VOR approach. Never done one before. It wasn't too bad. But again, thanks so much. We'll catch you on the next one.